Every once in a while, I fall in love with the motherboard's design. My first was the Sabertooth Z170S from ASUS, mothered in a white camouflage PCB and packed with features on the Intel platform. The second was the recent Gigabyte AX370 Gaming K7 motherboard on the Ryzen platform. It had virtually every feature imaginable and looked sharp in any case. But this here, the Gigabyte Z270X Design Air is one heck of a motherboard that does not break the bank. I typically find motherboard review videos a bit odd, like apart from overclocking potential, which should be the same for pretty much every motherboard within that same chipset, and features which you can find on any website, including Gigabyte's own website for the motherboard, what else is there to talk about in a video like this? But with this board, I haven't hesitated to make a video. Overclocking, it's great. 5 GHz on the i5-7600K with zero stability issues. And apart from standard Sky and Kaby Lake CPU support, the Design Air also packs a few unique features including front USB 3.1 support, support for Intel Optane if you are really into that sort of thing, a beastly onboard audio chipset, fully integrated RGB LED arrays, more on that here in a sec, and a dual bio setup in case you're into some dirty overclocking. This is a full-size ATX motherboard, which means that it will consume all nine of your case's standoffs, save maybe the one in the middle that's just used for guidance. If you're worried about fan support, always something that I look for in a motherboard that I'm picking, there are five dedicated fan hubs with both PWM and voltage support. That's pretty much standard at this point. I would like to have seen maybe one or two more that would definitely eliminate the need for a fan hub if you're worried about packing a ton of fans into your PC. Boards like these seem to have all the bells and whistles, not just the good looks. You'll find dedicated diagnostic LED support for RAM frequencies above 4 GHz and a sweet silver alloy PCB, a trademark of the Z270X Design Air. I must confess, I thought it'd be a bit wider, especially considering Gigabyte's own ad used the words, quote, pure white to describe it. Definitely not white. My walls are white, this motherboard is not. I will say though that this will still turn quite a few heads. Motherboards nowadays are pretty much just there. They're not meant to be aesthetically pleasing because most of the time you can't see them. So I will say that with the right color combination for the entire build, this motherboard will be an excellent complement. I think any silver case would look really good with the silver PCB. I mean, look all the way around the board. It's all silver. Everything you can think of that's not I don't know, a capacitor, some kind of hinge, is completely silvered out. The last physical mention here should be rear I.O. support. Again, you can read this on any website, I understand that, but apart from standard DVI-D and HDMI ports, you'll find a single USB Type-C port, four USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports, a single 3.1 Gen 2 interface, two USB 2.0 headers, an RJ45 port, 7.1 surround sound support with an optical interface, and a good old PS2 keyboard mouse connector for old school fun. I find these things hilarious and cool at the same time on modern motherboards. I'm glad this one includes one. Now by this point you might be wondering what on earth I have planned for this beautiful board. I will not let something like this just sit and collect dust. So, you guessed it right, I will be throwing it into another custom loot PC build. I've got quite a surprise in store for all of you. We'll break it down into maybe three parts. It'll be a very uh, long, extensive build. Probably very complicated, most custom loot builds are, uh, but I think that the looks are definitely going to pay off. The plan involves an i7-7700K, custom-cooled GTX 1080 Ti, 32GB of DDR4, loads of Primo Chill custom loop gear, and a special case. I'll be honest, I haven't decided on one yet. Oh, and Tony over at Virility once again hooking us up in the studio with some super cool custom sleeve cables. These are silver and purple, so I guess that kind of reveals the color scheme I'm going for here. A silver build with some purple accents, including what I expect to be purple fluid. So we're gonna see what we can do with Primo Chill's uh, current offerings. And I think the cables, if you get the cables right, the PC just looks 10 times better in my opinion. Tony's not let us down to date. He is super awesome. Check out his channel linked in the video description. So if you've got anything special planned for your next PC build like I do and want Intel on your side, the Z270X Design Air is next to none. Well. Almost next to none. I'm not gonna lie, it follows a similar color scheme as the MSI Titanium Z270 motherboard. I can't go without mentioning that, but 
This is a huge catch by the way. This one from Gigabyte costs much less and packs nearly the same amount of features into an identical form factor. That's right, Gigabyte has completely wiped out MSI's titanium motherboard lineup with this price point. It's super awesome. I'm glad to see that kind of competition. It means lower prices for you. If you have any questions or concerns, you can leave those in the comments below. As always, you can find a link to the motherboard showcased in this video in the video description that is tied to my Amazon affiliate link. It gives me a small kickback. It lets me make more videos like these and push out more reviews for all of you to kind of just dive into to decide what you want for your next PC build. This is Science Studio. Thanks for learning with us.